It's really important, we understand at the moment, some of the sort of neurological processes that are going on now, driving our actions. There's a, we're having a lot of fear at the moment, and uh, it's not just self-generated, the whole world seems to be afraid. And the problem with that is when we see fearful, anxious behaviour on the part of other people, a bit of our brain interprets that and tells us, oh, there must be real danger. Now, the bit of the brain that's active now is called the amygdala. It's gone a bit crazy and it's pumping loads of adrenaline and loads of cortisol into our system, into our bodies. And we are beginning to lose our minds because of that. Okay, now the amygdala controls a thing called fight, flight, freeze. And that response is designed only for predators that are going to eat us. Okay, there aren't any of those around. <laughs> That's just not where we are. Okay, now the problem with the amygdala is it has the ability to override our higher functioning. So our ability to think, be creative, play the piano, do mathematics, all of that is higher functioning in the brain. And the amygdala at the moment is cutting us off from that. So we need to calm the amygdala down. We can't just talk to it. Well, we can a little bit, and I'm going to tell you how you can talk to it. So um, the signals it's looking for to tell it there is no, nothing's going to eat us, we're safe. That's essentially what we're going to tell. And the signals that we can give it are very, very simple ones. Relax your muscle tone. So tense muscles, signal danger. Relax muscles, say no danger whatsoever. Manage our breathing. <laughs> Panting suggests we're trying to oxygenate the bloodstream to get ready for a fight or to get ready to run away. Relax your breathing. Manage your breathing, control it. You can use mindfulness if you want. Breathe in and out through your nose. That will automatically control your breathing. It's really difficult to pant in and out through your nose. Almost impossible. But just breathe in and out through your nose for a couple of minutes a day. Anytime you feel the adrenaline spike, just do that. And relax. And that will control things. And then think about your breathing. Simple meditation technique. Think about how you are breathing and you're no longer thinking about the things that are terrifying you. Okay? You stop thinking about the things that are terrifying you, they stop terrifying you. It's that simple. And once you've done that, the higher functioning of your brain will then just kick in and you'll be coming up with all sorts of amazing solutions and creative solutions, which then, I hope, once you get them, you start sharing on the forums that you're on so that you encourage and remind other adults that you're connected to, that we are adults, we have the capacity to deal with this situation and that we can help each other. And that's the final thing I wanna say, step into helping others, altruism, stepping into the social self, because the social self is all in the frontal lobes and the frontal lobes are the higher functioning of the brain. Once you're activating all of that, once you're engaging in altruistic, helpful behaviours like this, you've then told the amygdala, you know what, just go and have a very long sleep, I've got this, it's fine. And it will just chill out completely. Once you've done that, if you manage yourself in that way, I absolutely guarantee you, money back guarantee, that your ability to do everything will improve enormously.